Hello, I'm meteorologist Francis Crudenser with the National Weather Service in Great Falls, and here is the Thursday weather briefing for north central and southwestern Montana. The next several days will be headlined by a significant early season winter weather event. Our Thursday wind event will die down Thursday evening, with a brief break in impactful weather expected Thursday night into Friday morning. Our winter weather system will then begin to roll into the area on Friday and will continue through the weekend before moving away later Monday. We can expect some large snowfall totals in the mountains and high plains, but snowfall is expected down onto the lower elevations of the plains as well as into the central and southwest Montana valleys by Saturday night into Monday. Periods of heavy snow and blowing snow will cause treacherous travel conditions across much of the region over the weekend and we are also very concerned about the potential for widespread power outages with a wet, heavy snow expected and leaves still on the trees. A sustained cold snap is expected into early next week, which will cause exposure concerns for school kids, those recreating in the backcountry, and livestock. We have had some wind gusts on the plains over 50 miles per hour so far Thursday afternoon, and these gusty winds may continue through the rest of the afternoon before quickly dropping off in the evening and overnight hours. For the first part of our winter weather event, Friday through Saturday afternoon, snowfall will remain mainly in the mountains and high plains adjacent to the Rocky Mountain front. Marias and Rogers Passes will likely already see significant snowfall totals during this time. Lower elevations will see mainly rainfall during this time frame, though some overnight snow mixing in cannot be ruled out in some spots. As we head into Saturday night, cold air will push into the lower elevations with vigor, leading to rain changing to snow for most places, especially during Saturday and Sunday nights. Travel impacts are expected to be the most widespread concern, but periods of wet, heavy snow on trees and power lines coupled with gusty winds will lead to the potential for significant power outages as well. Snow amounts in many southwest valleys appear likely to be fairly light at this time, but could still cause travel impacts. At the end of the day, however, we shouldn't be focusing on the snow totals so much as the potential impacts and what we need to do to prepare for those impacts. Now would be a great time to ensure you have your emergency travel kit ready to go in your cars. Also, make sure you are prepared with extra food, water, and other supplies to deal with a possible extended power outage at your house as well, especially given the likelihood for a sustained cold snap during and after the storm. Head to the link at the bottom of the screen for some great tips on preparedness. Bitterly cold weather will accompany this storm. Saturday and Sunday minimum wind chills are likely to be in the teens and single digits on the northern plains. Anyone planning to be outdoors, and especially in the backcountry, for an extended period of time over the weekend into early next week will want to ensure they are dressed and provisioned appropriately. At the heart of the colder weather with this system, high temperatures in many places will struggle to get above freezing on Sunday and Monday afternoons. As the storm system departs later Monday into Tuesday, clearing skies and calmer winds Monday night into Tuesday morning may allow for some exceptionally cold weather, with widespread lows in the teens and 20s. Parents will want to ensure that their kids are dressed warmly next week. Between the snow, winds, and prolonged cold temperatures, some livestock stress is also to be expected. Colder than normal conditions currently appear likely to continue into the next two week time frame. However, there will be currently no signals on whether or not we will be drier or wetter than normal. Thank you for tuning in. Given the expected significant weather over the coming days, please stay up to date with us on the web through these channels. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us.